Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a creative for YouTuber that is trying to have a yellow nobi. by And today it's my... Four? Third? Third part in my throwback theme week where I'm using the palettes that I had as favorites in 2018. And today I am digging in to the Hasina 2 palette from Blush Tribe. Blush Tribe was one of my favorite brands back in the days. Now they do not longer exist and the palette looks like this and this was my first like green and purple palette. I did not like green at all in the beginning when I did makeup. Now I do love green. I didn't like purple either but I had a purple week or a purple like a little purple theme thingy <laughs> and I do actually like purple now so yeah the palette looks like this and I actually think that I will make a look with two different eyes I'm going to do a purple eye and a green eye because it felt like it was a long while ago since I did that so I guess I'm just going to prime my eyes and then we get started so I think I want to do this I have eyelash here. I think I want to do this eye green and this eye purple. I want to do it the other way around. No, green and purple. So I'm thinking of doing like a half cut crease. So for the greens, I think I will use maybe that shimmer and these three and purple. These two. Maybe a little bit of the black and. Okay, we'll see. I'm going to start with the green eye first. And I don't know if you remember Blush Tribe. They were one of my absolute favorite brands before. I can't like remember when they went out of business, but at one point I like bought everything that Blush Tribe did release and that was just like, they did amazing color stories and I do think the palettes are good. Some of them aren't like <laughs> the best eyeshadows I have ever tried. I, I bought one of their rainbow palettes, the Blossom palette. I have a decluttering that one. And that was not good, but all the other palettes that I've tried from Blush Tribe was really good. And... I thought it was such a fun brand and they were like so so popular in my little beauty YouTube community and everybody that I watched and it was just an amazing small brand and I thought it was such a fun brand but then Salma that had blush tribe decided to shut it down and yeah, I wasn't like that may not that amazed. I had discovered other brands at the time when they closed down, but in the beginning I thought it was such a fun brand and I did really love them and also they did a collab with Paulina Beauty and I have always loved Paulina. I have been following her for years and I bought that palette on release date. I think I was one of the first ones that did get it and it was just I, I remember like Blush Tribe as only like fun memories and uh, I did really like the palettes and the color stories and what I also liked were they was located in the UK so no taxes at that point because it was before Brexit and I did just really love Blush Tribe it was one of my absolute favorite brands and I did love this palette 2018 and also like after that and I don't know how many videos I've done with blush try but I can leave some down in the description and 
Yeah, I just think of them as a really fun memory and I guess that some of you that watch me also have that. But okay, <laughs> for, maybe I should just take this one for my green eye and this, and maybe that. Okay, I'm going to, I want to take that one okay, because I want them like, yeah, maybe if I take this green and this purple because I want the same depth. No. Okay, I'm going in with this one. It was such a long time ago since I used this palette because this... It always feels like to use a palette that is discontinued. I always think it feels a little bit strange. Maybe not now. When I'm on my no-buy. But before, I always thought it was... Not nice to like use a palette that you couldn't buy, but at the same time, I think the most palettes are dupable. Maybe not down to every shadow, but like the most colors, they aren't like unique. I think you can always find something similar. I want it to be really opaque. Maybe this isn't a good purple. I don't know either if it is my fucking eyeshadow base because I <clears throat> sometimes doesn't work with me. Like I have never had this problem with like matte shadows that they are creasing this crazy on me and this eyeshadow base. Sometimes it's just it's getting on my nerves. And it maybe is a strange thing to be super mad at, but it's like really annoying. And I really want to love this. It's this eyeshadow base. And I know that other Swedish like influencers and makeup thing is they do love this one. But I can't like, I don't get it. It doesn't work that good on me. And I don't know now if it is the shadows or if it is that fucking eyeshadow primer just annoys the crap out of me okay and now I okay are we going to you <laughs> talk about this I don't know uh, it's Friday today and I've been at work and I usually don't film on Fridays after work because I'm usually really tired and and uh, I usually don't film after work at Fridays because I'm usually kind of tired after a whole week Okay, I'm going in with this green shimmer and I think this purple shimmer. And now Astrid is in here and she is doing something that I don't know. Okay, can I? This works kind of good without an eyeshadow primer. Or with a glitter primer. Do you hear her? It's Astrid, I don't know, she found something to play with. I guess like a ball or something. And yeah, she doesn't sound like Ari Katz because she's deaf. It's like she can't hear a thing and she sounds a little bit crazy. This shade I think though that I but I think I have done a purple look with this palette. But maybe just like one. Because I know when I bought this palette. Because this was I think one of their most popular palettes. And I remember when I bought it, I was like, okay, I don't even like these colors that much. But then I tried this and I was like, okay. I think that green is a thing now. I think I do like this, or I do like this. Um, but yeah, I was really surprised over this palette, and I think I had it like... No, I almost took on that one. Like an underdog. I think I called it an underdog in my favorite videos. I can't remember. But like, I didn't thought that I was going to like this, but I do. Okay, I'm just going to swirl, swirl. I want to take one of the darker shimmers to put between the matte and the shimmers. I'm going to take this on the green eye and this on the purple eye. 
And did I even uh, finish my sentence with <laughs> like a work? Astrid and she's she's like so loud when she's playing and she's so clumsy it's like she don't know how big she is but okay yeah I usually don't film on Fridays because I'm usually so tired after work and I am today as well and work today I don't know. Okay, this eye doesn't look as I want it to because it is... And I think it's the eyeshadow primer and maybe this is the reason why I don't film on Fridays because I'm get it's getting on my nerves. Really, really, really much. Why am I doing this? But okay, I think I do like this. Even though I... It is like a little bit patchy out here and... The thing with my left eye I am like have, I'm kind of dry on this eye it is kind of good now sometimes I get like you know like an eczema dry eczema is it even the thing um, and sometimes eyeshadows do fuck up on this eye even though it's a good eyeshadow but now with the eyeshadow primer I just don't know but maybe it looks Okay, so I'll we'll take away the fallouts, I fix my base and hopefully not fuck it up because that's more than I can take today. So I will fix my base and then I come back. This is the finished look and I do like it. The purple eye looks good and the green eye looks good and for my face I did use the Infinity palette by Linda Hallberg. LH Cosmetics because this is what I'm using for my face this week because this was my favorite eye slash face palette 2019 so I used Make It Way, Pinwheel and Maffei and I'm going to try to close this for my watch line I did use a teaspoon on this eye and I'm a fist hour on this eye and on my lips I took kitten heels from NYX. I thought it was fun with a poppy red lip I hope. So yeah. I do really like this look. I think these go really good together. One purple eye and one green eye I think. The green eye might be my favorite so for my green eye I did use this one this and this and on my purple no, no wait on my green eye these four and this so these did I no Jesus I did use these four shades and on my purple eye I used um, these two, this one and this one. So yeah, I do really like this eye and did you owe this palette back in the days when Blush Tribe was so popular and do you have any special memories with this? I do have special memories with this one and it feels like now I have had my makeup channel for four years a little bit over four years and I think it's so fun to go back to all the palettes that I did love a couple of years back just to see like have I changed my mind about them do I feel any like nostalgia about them and I guess that I do this was I think one of my first green looks I ever did was with this one not the very first green and purple i can see if i can figure out v which video i had i think i might only had a look in that one but i can see if i can find it and i can leave it down in the description but this palette i did love this back in the days and i do love it still but it's no longer available and i've just found other palettes that i do love even though i love this one but i have other palettes that i like more than this one and I guess that is just like the way of uh, palette life. 
but yeah I do really hope that you liked this video I have only one palette left and I will try to have that video up on Sunday I will see how that will go because I get a visit from a friend tomorrow uh, and I don't know if I have the time to ed film and edit to have it up on Sunday or it comes on Monday I don't know but it's the Zulu palette from UVS Place but yeah we will see I do really hope that you like this video and that you have liked this week so yeah if you're not subscribing to our channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!